Here we go with the scrappy song. Are you ready? Sometime on a Sunday or any day, I know where I'll be. Watching my computer to see Scrappy TV. It's Scrappy Scrappy Church. Woo! Scrappy Scrappy Church. Woo! Scrappy Scrappy Church. Woo! We're God's family. Brilliant! What will we do this week? I'm sure it will be fun. With you and me and Jesus. So come on everyone. Two, three, four! Scrappy Scrappy Church. Woo! Scrappy Scrappy Church. Welcome to Scruffy Church TV. Hey, hey, hi. Welcome to Bath. And I'm Philip and welcome to our sitting room here in the rectory in Bath. I say our oh, because there's me, Philip, and there's also Lizzie, my wife, who would really love to be on Scruffy TV, but she's just not scruffy enough. She's far too glam, but she's controlling the camera and she's a brilliant camera operator. So you are welcome here to Scruffy Church TV, wherever you're from. And here in Scruffy TV, we like it scruffy. So uh, let's just have a look to make sure you've got a scruffy enough room just like ours. Oh, you have, well done, that's brilliant. And we're gonna start this week's Scruffy Church TV service with shout outs. So people who've written to scruffy at stephensbath.org.uk, I'll show you that a bit later. Olivia and her grandparents, Roz and George, who are in Derby. And Olivia's made this brilliant chalet at the bottom of her drive. And she changes that, what's in there every so often. People walking past can see that wonderful, creative change that Olivia makes. And this is a beach scene that she's made, which makes us think about summer holidays. Oh, lovely. Anyway, welcome to you, Roz, George and Olivia. Great to see you from Derby. Mary, Sam and Lydia Cheeseman from the Ribble Valley in Lancashire. Hi, <laughs> thank you for writing to Scruffy Church TV and uh, you said some really lovely things about Scruffy Church, so really encouraging. So thank you very much and I hope you uh, enjoy this service together. And finally for this week, Lucy, Andrea, George and Frederick Spedo Morandola from Bath here. You are welcome as well, thank you for writing, and it's great to be able to welcome you and welcome all of you to Scruffy Church TV. Now, as you know, on Scruffy Church TV service, there are things that you can get for a bit later on in the service, and these are the things that we need today. You don't have to get them, but if you can, then it means you'll be able to join in with some other bits and pieces. So we've got some tape there, you don't have to use, I've got masking tape, you could use cellar tape. Uh, a stick, it doesn't have to be a rule, it can be a stick. We're gonna make a mask that you could stick a stick on if you like, some pens there, a couple of pens, some scissors, get some, uh, get a grown up to help you if you're, if you're not old enough to use scissors, but those are quite some safe ones there. Some card or some paper, about A4, and the biggest jug you have in the house, because we're gonna use that for a very special use a bit later on. Before we have the fun that we're gonna have today, we've got a fantastic story, some lovely songs, a game, we're going to pray together. So we're gonna come over to our quiet bit and listen to this bowl. And when the singing stops and the silence starts, we're going to pray together. So have a listen. Loving God, thank you that we can be together for Scruffy Church TV. Thank you that you've given us one another, wherever we are, all over the country, all over the world, to be together, to worship you, and to find out more about what it means to love you and to follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. You ready for a song? I know I am. We're gonna sing the Scruffy TV song over in the music area. And if you're new to Scruffy TV, then you'll be able to pick up the song really, really quickly, I'm sure. And if you've watched Scruffy TV before, then you'll know it already. Let's sing together. Here we go. Sometime on a Sunday or any day, I know where I'll be. Watching my computer or iPad to see Scruffy TV.
Scruffy Church TV! <laughs> you are welcome! Right, now, we're going to have a look at those things that we got earlier on. And we're going to make something together. So you need to get your piece of card or your paper like that and your pen. Now we are going to make a lion mask. So we're going to start off, you can draw a line however you like, but we're going to start off, this is the way I'm going to do it, we're going to start with a very simple shape. You know what that is? That's a triangle and we're going to colour that in. Triangle in the middle of the paper like that. And then we're going to do another triangle on the top of that, like that. And then you can carry on with those lines. Now, your lion that you're making can be an angry lion or a nice friendly lion. I'm gonna make mine a little bit angry, but you can make yours nice and kind if you like. So there we are, that's the lion's eyes. And then we're gonna do a couple of loops on each of those sides like that. Now again, now you can draw a big roary mouth or a nice, you could draw a little tiny mouth like that for a gentle one, or a big roary. I'm gonna draw quite a big roary one like that. And then inside you can draw another one like that. And then you can draw some teeth if you'd like to. You don't have to draw if you'd want to have a nice kind line, but I'm gonna draw, that's a tongue in there. I'm going to draw some teeth and you can color that bit in the middle. Like that, if you'd like to. Brilliant, and then a few whiskers on there. Okay, this is the tricky-ish bit. You go back up to the top and we're gonna draw like a, imagine you're drawing a heart that comes round like that, but it stops just on the tiger's chin there. And the same on that side. And then we're gonna draw his mane, his hair. So, you can do it however you like. Nice and scruffy mane for me, all the way down. And when you get to the bottom, you can make it nice and pointy like that. There, I think it's a pretty good lion. There, in fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a few, a few of the bits of that in as well. Because I've got the pen there. Brilliant. Okay, fantastic. Now with that, you can either stick it on Something like this, a piece of wood. If you'd like to make it that kind of a puppet, or you could cut the eyes out or put some elastic around it, whatever you like. Actually, I just had an idea. While we're drawing, play a game. If we put those things there like that, just have a look at those things. What we're gonna do, so we've got the, the sticky tape, the mask, two pens and the scissors and the jug. You're gonna look away. I'm gonna take one of these things away and you're gonna try and see if you can tell what I've taken away. <laughs> okay, have a look back. Now, what's gone from there? Can you tell? I'm gonna shout, count to three and then shout out what's missing. One, two, three. It was the scissors, did you get it? <laughs> hey, let's try, have another look, have another look. I'm gonna take one more thing away. Okay, off you go. And I've taken the thing away and look back. Oh, what's missing now? <gasps> One, two, three. It's the jug. Hey, <laughs> because we're gonna use this jug to make a lion's roar. So if you've got your mask like that, or maybe you're wearing it, you take your jug and you go, roar, like that. Let's try it again, are you ready? Roar, big fierce lion. And the reason we do that is because there's a lion in the story. There are lots of lions in the story with big roars. So in the story, when you hear the lion's cage opening, you go, Rawr! so let's try that again. Are you ready? Rawr! If you forget, when you hear the door, you give a roar, very easy. And the other thing we're going to do is there's a king in this called King Darius. And when you hear his majesty, the king, we all go, may he live forever. Are you ready? His Majesty the King, may he live forever. Fantastic. What I haven't told you is we've got two people joining us on Scruffy TV today. Two people 
who are really good friends of mine. And the first one is me. Hey, my name is Adrian, or Aid for short. Yes, or as I call him, Visual Aid. <laughs> yeah, very funny, Philip. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Scratchy Church TV. And the other person is me. Yeah, oh, that's right, Grandad. <laughs> I'm going to be Grandad in the story, and I think everything is super duper wowie. <laughs> now, um, uh, yeah, that's very good, Grandad. Yeah, how are you, Ray? Oh, <laughs> We're going to tell a story. Oh, fantastic. And in the story, there are three people. That's good, because there were three of us. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, there are. So in this story, there is a hero, there is a king, and there is a slimy baddie. So I think that I should play the, the hero. No, I'm going to be the hero, because I've got a hero face. Look. Brilliant, okay, you can be the hero. What's he called? Um, the hero is called Daniel. Oh, oh, I'm going to be Daniel. Okay, then how about if I play the king? No, 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 I'm going to be the king. What's the king's name? King Doris. I'm going to be King Doris, because look, my hair's almost like a crown. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, I'm going to be a super duper wowie king called King Darius. Uh, so that means that I am the slimy baddie. Yes, the slimy baddie. And what's the slimy baddie going to be called? How about... Slimy pants. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be slimy pants. <laughs> Very good indeed. Now, this is a story of Daniel, that's me, and King Darius, that's me. And this takes place in a country called Babylon. And King Darius was the king of Babylon. And Slimy Pants <laughs> was one of the king's advisors. That means people who helped him. And he was also from Babylon. Oh, I love Babylon. But Daniel, yeah, me, was not from Babylon. He was an Israelite. He worshipped the Lord God, but the other two didn't. I love God and I like to pray because I am faithful to God and God is faithful to me. One day, King Darius was going to make an announcement. Hey, everybody, <laughs> His Majesty the King. May he live for, oh, come on, you can do better than that. His Majesty the King, may he live forever. Yes, thank you very much, Slimey Pants. Now, as you know, I have lots and lots of advisors, people who help me. And I have decided to have a super duper special advisor. Now, it's going to be out of Daniel <laughs> and Slimey Pants. Oh, thank you very much, Your Majesty. And I'm just about to announce who it's going to be. Oh, it's sure to be me because I'm from Babylon. On, and the king is from Babylon and Daniel isn't so I think he's going to be me. The person that I have chosen to be my super duper special advisor is Daniel. <laughs> Thank you your majesty I'm so pleased to be yours but what did you say? Daniel yeah me what, 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 no 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 buts slimy pants I've chosen Daniel because he's absolutely brilliant he, oh yeah I'm looking forward to being the best super duper special advisor there's ever been well actually you're the first but I, I think you're going to be absolutely brilliant. why don't we go and have a chat about uh, what it means oh yeah very good idea so, yeah. <gasps> oh how dare he choose Daniel over me mm. I'm gonna have to try and find a way to get rid of Daniel. Hmm. That night, Daniel got home and I'm going to do what I always do in when I've had really good news. I'm going to thank my God because I am faithful to God and God is faithful to me. So I'm going to pray a prayer of thanks. Outside in the street, slimy pants came past and looked in Daniel's window and saw him praying. And as he saw him praying, he had the most brilliant idea. <gasps> I've had the most brilliant idea. Bing, there it is, shiny brightly. I'm going to go and talk, have a little word to King Darius. Oh, King! Oh, what is it, Slimy Pants? I've just had a brilliant idea. Oh, what's that? <clears throat> I think that you should make a new law. A new law? Yes. Oh, that's a good idea, because if I make a new law, everyone will know that I'm a brilliant king. Oh, yes. Yeah. Shall I gather everybody round, Your Majesty? Oh, yes, of course you can. OK, everybody, gather round. The king's going to make a speech. <clears throat> His Majesty the King, may he live forever. 
On you go, your majesty. Yes, well, uh, <clears throat> now listen, everybody. I am going to make a new law. Uh, and, uh, 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 <laughs> this is a law. Yes, thank you. Uh, this is a law that no one should pray. That no one should pray. And if they do, and if they do, they will be thrown to the lions. They will be thrown to the lions. The lions, yes, you know, those big, angry, bitey, scary things. <laughs> this is a special law. This is a special law which can never, ever, 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 ever be changed. Which can never, ever, 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 ever be changed. Oh, well done. Big, big clap for his majesty. Well done, your majesty. That is a brilliant law. Oh, well, thank you very much. Um, uh, and I wonder what Daniel's going to think when he hears it. Oh, yes, I wonder that too. Daniel heard about the new law. Oh, dear. The new law says that we can't pray, but I have to pray because it's the right thing to do. I pray to my God because he is faithful to me and I am faithful to him. Oh, well, I'm going to have to do what I always do when I don't know what to do. And that is pray. As Daniel was praying, who should come past but slimy pants? Oh! Look, Daniel is praying. I think I'd better have another chat with his majesty. Oh, king, where are you? What? <laughs> Hello, your majesty. What is it, slimy pants? I was just having a boiled egg. Yes, uh, your majesty, actually, I've got some bad news. Oh, what's that? Well, you know that new law? Yes, uh, nobody should pray. Yes, well, I'm afraid that someone has broken it. Oh, really? That's terrible, because... If they break the law, they have to be thrown to the big, angry, bitey, scary things, the, the lions. And yeah, that's right, Your Majesty. Oh, well, um, who is it who's broken the law? I'm afraid, Your Majesty, it's Daniel. Daniel? Yes. What is it, Your Majesty? Have you, have, have you broken the law? What, the law about praying? Yes. I'm afraid I have, Your Majesty. Oh, Daniel, I'm afraid I can't help it. I have to pray to my God. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> um, shall I carry out the punishment, Your Majesty? Uh, I suppose you'd better, Slimy Pants. Sorry, Daniel, and goodbye. So Slimy Pants took Daniel to the lion's den. Oh, Daniel, they look big, angry, bitey and scary. Yes. They do, don't they? I think they're going to have a very, very nice dinner tonight. Yeah, I think they are. <gasps> so let's open the door and hear them roar. <laughs> Goodbye, Daniel. <laughs> oh dear, poor old Daniel. <sighs> that night. Poor King Darius couldn't get a wink of sleep. Oh, 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 oh dear, poor old Daniel in the lion's den. Oh dear, oh dear, whatever am I going to do? Oh well, maybe if Daniel prays to his God, God will help him, won't he? The next morning, King Darius was in his throne room. And who should come in but Slimy Pants? Hello, Your Majesty. Hello, Slimy Pants. Oh, you look a bit tired. Yes, I didn't sleep terribly well. Oh, I'm very sorry, Your Majesty. Anyway, I think now that Daniel is no longer with us, it's time to choose another super duper special advisor. Oh, uh, I suppose it is. Uh, and I was just thinking who that might be. Uh, morning, everybody. Uh, morning, Daniel. You see, I was thinking that it might... That Daniel! <laughs> oh, you're alive! I certainly am. Well, well, what happened? Well, I prayed to my God and he made those lions as gentle as little pussycats. In fact, one of them let me use him as a pillow. Ha <laughs> ha! Super duper wowie! Ha 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 ha! But, 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 but actually, 
Daniel, uh, I was just thinking, um, since those lions didn't get any supper, um, they must be very hungry for breakfast. Oh, I suppose they are. So um, what shall we give them for breakfast? Or rather, who shall we give them for breakfast? Oh no! Ready to open the door. And roar! And whoa! <laughs> well, that's a wonderful ending to my story. And I've decided that all my people in Babylon are going to pray to Daniel's God. Only one thing to say. Super duper wowie! <laughs> I love that story. Daniel knew the right thing to do. He knew what God wanted him to do. But in order to do that, he had to be bold and he had to be strong. So let's go and sing. Be bold, be strong. For the Lord your God is with you. There we are. And if you don't know this song, let's just go through the first bit so you get the hang of it here in the words. So these bits here we sing and then these bits you shout so it goes be bold be bold be strong be strong for the lord your god is with you try that again be bold be bold be strong be strong for the lord your god is with try again be bold be bold be strong be strong for the lord your god is with you next bit i am not afraid no 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 i am I love Scruffy Church TV because if you make a mistake like that, I completely forgot the chords of that song. It doesn't matter because it's just scruffy, scruffy chords. Let's sing that song all the way through. Here we go. Be bold, be bold, be strong, be strong for the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be bold, be strong, be strong for the Lord your God is with you. I am not afraid. No, no, no. I am not dismayed. Not me, cause I'm walking in faith and victory. Come on, walk in faith and victory. For the Lord, your God, is with you. Fantastic. Just come over to the story area, just for a moment. And, whoops, my guitar's fallen over. Ah. And we'll just think a little bit more about that story that we've been thinking about. Daniel knew what was right. But how do we know what was right? One of the lovely things about God is that God's Spirit is within us. And God's Spirit helps us to know the right things. And in the Bible, it talks about the things that we do to, to be faithful to God as the fruit of the Spirit. Just like a tree produces apples or pears or grapes. When in our life, when we do what God wants us to, when we behave the way that God wants us to be, then we show the fruit of the Spirit. And the fruit of the Spirit are lots of things, but things like love and joy and peace and kindness and faithfulness, like Daniel was faithful to God. And I remember a time when I was about 12 and I was at school, I was best friends with a guy called John. And we were best friends, we used to go everywhere. We used to play football together, we used to go watch Watford together. We used to have sleepovers in each other's houses. But then all the other boys in my class decided that they didn't like John anymore and they started to pick on him. And I can remember having to think, I've got to make a choice here whether I go faithful to John or whether I go with the crowd and I'm afraid to say that I went with the crowd that was the decision that I made and it, John had a few horrible weeks where everybody picked on him including me but I did see John a few years later and uh, he was fine we, and we're friends again now but I I'm really sorry that I made that decision and you think that kind of decision is based on how God is within us and you think people who run countries and make massive decisions, if they make decisions 
based on kindness and love and joy and peace. What an amazing difference that makes in the world. So let's take that thought as we go into our prayer room. We're going to go into our room and shut the door and we're going to pray to God and we're going to think about those fruit of the spirit let's have a look here so here are some stones now you don't have to do anything for these prayers you can just cuddle up if you're on your own you can get some cushions sit nice and comfortably and know that you're praying with lots of other people there's love look and there's joy and there is peace God wants us to be peaceful faithfulness God wants us to be faithful to God and to one another and kindness we need to be kind as well so what we're going to do now have a look at those just have a look at them and then you're going to look away and I'm going to take one away and see if you can guess which one's gone. Okay, look away and now look back. Which one is missing? It's joy. So let's just think about joy for a moment. Thank you for what gives us joy. Thank you for our families and friends and all the things that we can do. And we pray, loving God, that you'll help us to be a joy to other people. Great. OK, look away. Let's see what's missing this time. OK, have a look. What's missing? <laughs> it's peace. Let's think about peace for a moment. There's so much worry around at the moment with the virus. We pray that those fears may be like the lions. And we hope that you'll help us to know that you're with us. And rather than being fierce, that those fears would turn into your peace. And we pray for those who are worried at the moment. And we pray that you'll be with them. Okay. Look away and then look back again. What's missing now? <laughs> it's faithfulness. That means being loyal, being true to people. And we thank you, loving God, for everyone who is being faithful to their job and to our communities and our towns and cities. Thank you for all the health workers whether they're doctors or nurses or drivers or cleaners or people who type letters, people who send emails, people who drive ambulances. And we pray for everyone who cares for us, people who care for older people, either in their homes or in special places. We pray for the police and for the armed services, the way that they're helping and for our councils and governments too. And we pray for everyone who's producing our food for us and enabling us to buy it, people who work in shops. So we pray for people to be faithful to your spirit and make decisions for joy and peace and love. Wow, what's the next one? Have a look. It's kindness. We thank you, loving God, for all the kindness we're seeing at the moment in these times. And we thank you that praying for people is kind. And so we're praying for people who are not very well at the moment. Maybe the people you know, just have a picture of them in your mind. And we pray for them. And we pray for people who are sad we pray for Andrew and for Nicole. We pray for them that they will be blessed by you. We pray for people who are missing people, people who are on their own or people who miss families and friends. Maybe they're in a care home or away from their families. So anyone you know who's sad, just pray for them. 
And we pray for those who miss people who've died. We pray for Mare and for David and Natalia and for Judy and for Vera and for Pam. And just as I'm warming up this stone by holding it, we pray that our prayers will warm those people with your kindness. There's only one left now. You should be able to guess what the missing stone is. Let's have a look. What is it? It's love. God says all things are drawn together, are collected together in love. And we pray that your love would be in our hearts and our homes and our lives. And that we may care for one another and for our planet too. And we're going to collect all of these prayers together now in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Let's pray this prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen great let's sing our final song together and this is a great song we've sung it before on scruffy church tv but we're going to sing it today because it's all about asking god to fill us with the fruit of the spirit all the different fruit that we've been talking about love and joy and peace and all of those things this is what this song is about right here we go give me joy in my heart keep me praising joy in my heart, I pray. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Keep me praising till the break of day. Here's the chorus. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. What's the next fruit we're going to pray for? Give me peace in my heart, keep me resting. Give me peace in my heart, I pray. Give me peace in my heart, keep me resting. Keep me resting till the break of day. Let's sing together! Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Give me love in my heart, I pray. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Keep me serving till the break of day. Here we go with the chorus. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the last verse. Only got three chords in that one, so I can play that really, really well. It's been great sharing this scruffy TV service together. And please write to us. If you want to write to us, this is the address you can write to. It's scruffy at stephensbath.org.uk. And that's our website address there, stephensbath.org. UK. It would be lovely to hear from you and be lovely to give you a shout out in next week's Scruffy Church TV, which is full of wonderful things. Put your hand up to the screen. 
and feel that warmth and then place that warmth here and know that God loves you. Bless you, bless your family and friends and may your home and your heart be filled with peace and with joy and with kindness, with faithfulness and love. In the name of Jesus and we say together, Amen. Men. See you soon on Scruffy TV! Here we go with the Scruffy song. Are you ready? Sometime on a Sunday or any day, I know where I'll be. Watching my computer to see Scruffy TV. It's Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy. Three, four, scruffy, scruffy church. Woo! Scruffy, scruffy church.